So we have seen an overview of different protocols type, gateway, dial pairs, and uh, different components of the collaboration networks. Now for CLE CCM, I'll give you a quick uh, overview. Yeah. So we we discussed about we have different deployment methods or de deployments, different types we have. So different types of deployments are like we discussed single site. We have multi site, multi site with distributed, multi site with centralized deployment. So. Single site deployment is one type of deployment. Other is multi site. Deployment. With. Centralized server. Then we have multi site. Deployment with. Distributed server. And we have clustering over van. Okay, so what is single site? In single site, it just simply means it's let's say we have a headquarter. We have a switch here. We have some IP phones. And this is our PUCM publisher subscriber cluster. Okay, this is just a single site deployment. So you have only your enterprise network all registered on the same CUCM, making communications between the phones within the enterprise. When we talk about multi-site deployment with centralized server, so in centralized server, let's say now you just add an ISP. It can be PSTN or ISP any, and you have a branch. We have a switch here. We have some IP phones here. Now, let's say we have a branch, but we do not have enough, you know, uh, budget or expertise or staff to take care of the separate servers on both the sites. We want to have a small branch, and all those devices on the branch also get registered on the CUCM. We want that. That is called centralized deployment or multi-site with centralized deployment. So these phones are also getting registered. It is going via the PSTN and going to the CUCM on the headquarter site for the registration. So all the phones are registered from the headquarter and the branch on the same CUCM on the headquarter. This is centralized deployment. But the problem here is if the PSTN fails, if this link fails and, and connectivity between these two sites fails, then all the phones here will get unregistered. Okay. This is a problem with centralized deployment. Whereas in distributed environment, we have a CUCM on the headquarters site, and we want another CUCM cluster on this site, which is not a part of the same CUCM. It is just a separate cluster of CUCM here. So all the devices of branch are getting registered on this CUCM. On the same branch so that if the PSTN link or the link between the headquarter and branch fails, the phones on the branch will not get unregistered will still be registered because they are registered on a separate CUCM and the headquarters phone are registered on the separate CUCM. Here, the maintenance and the staff will be required on both the sites. The administration will be done on both the sites. So that is distributed server environment or distributed deployment. Then comes clustering over van. So in clustering over van, we do not have an entire cluster of CUCM on the branch, but we have one server of the same cluster from the headquarter. So let's say we have a 
publisher and subscriber here and another subscriber here. UCM subscriber on the branch, which is the part of the same UCM cluster as the headquarter. So as we know, there is data replication. You do not need a separate uh, administration team or management here. Whatever configuration is done on the headquarter side will be replicated on the subscriber also. Right. So in that case, what will happen? Even if this link goes down, we have a subscriber here and the phone will remain registered on this subscriber. Right. This, that is another method we can do. So these are the different deployment methods in collaboration. In CLA CCM, we will be doing single site, multi site deployment. Up to here. Multi site deployment majorly, we will do. Okay. Just a moment. End of the next slide. OK, before moving on to the next from this deployment method only. Now, let's say I want to use a multi site deployment, but I do not want a separate CUCM on the branch or even a subscriber. I, do, I want only my CUCM on the headquarter and not on the branch. Now, what will happen? Have a headquarter. We have uh, ESTN here. We have a branch. We have some IP phones connected to the switch here. We have a publisher subscriber here. We do not want a publisher subscriber or a subscriber on the branch side. We want a multi site deployment here. Now, what will happen on the headquarter? Let's say we have a VLAN 5, we have some subnet 10 24. We have a VLAN 6 here and 10 subnet 24 here. Okay. Now, if we want all these phones to be registered on the same CUCM, what will be the method of registration will be used? Will we use a manual registration? Will we do a auto registration or back registration? What would you say? What should be used in this type of deployment? Can you guess what type Sorry, of deployment? Uh, what type of registration for phones should be done here? Manual registration, auto or back. We have the CUCM only on the headquarter side. All the phones from the headquarter as well as branch should be registered on the same uh, CUCM on the headquarter. So what type of registration method should be used? Manual, auto or back? Auto. Auto, okay. Now, auto will be, auto can be used, but because it is a different site, we have headquarter and we have a branch. We want to use headquarter numbers like 1001, and we want to use a separate series of uh, numbers on the branch 2001, 2002. Can we do that with auto registration? Use... No. No. We... So that is one of we the problem in right. centralized. Right. So in centralized deployment, we cannot do auto registration. Manual we can do, of course, but for large networks, it can be very time consuming. So we cannot use manual in that case. And auto registration cannot be used if you want to use a different series of numbers and uh, manual will be time consuming. So the option we have is that only. This is the best option for phone registration in this type of a deployment. So you also have to make sure we have different types of deployment methods. We have different types of deployment designs and in which type of method, what type of uh, configuration should be done. Right, so as to avoid any problems. So here in multi site deployment, we have to 
make sure we configure bat bat registrations also uh, i hope you remember that we discussed about date time we discussed about region yeah these are some prerequisites for the phone registration we require a date time group we need a uh, region location we need cm group mm -hmm. device pool these are the configurations required for uh, the phone registration now when we are doing this configuration for headquarter and branch let's suppose our headquarter is in dubai and branch is in south africa right so these are two different time zones so two different configuration will be done for date time for location the relation between the two should be different so relation of the code x selection within the network let's say within the site headquarter will be g711 or g72264 kbps while between headquarter and branch it should be 8 kbps code x g729 right cm group will be the same cm group can be the same because it's the same cucm in the cm group we just define the nodes the publisher and subscriber so that will be the same in this case device pool will be different of course because these date time region location are associated with the device pool so we have two device pools we will need one headquarter device pool in which there will be a date time for headquarter region for headquarter location headquarter similarly we'll have another device pool for branch in which we'll be we'll be having a date time for branch region for branch and location branch right so these are also so, the requirement mm -hmm. if uh, let me say you have a branch in the same country the time is the same you just have uh, to make one device pool that can Both be done but right that can be done but the problem will be in the case of region so we will even if they both are in the same location mm -hmm. you will need a different region settings region is nothing but code x selection right so here we do a relationship between the uh, two sides or communication so when we are doing a, a region configuration we will create a headquarter region in which we will say when the headquarter to headquarter phones are communicating use a code x g711 when a headquarter to branch phone is communicating use code g729 right so as the relation will be different same way for branch even if they are both in the same uh, region or same location the date time is the same location can be the same cm group is, will be the same but region will be different because there will be branch to branch relation there will be a branch to headquarter relation which will be different Right, so we will need to configure different regions for different sites. Right, so we need to configure different date, time, region, location, and then associate with the with the different device pools. Okay, so for codec relationships, we we will need to configure different regions to save bandwidth. Otherwise, if we use just the same bandwidth, we will take a lot of bandwidth on the public link or the PSTN link. Okay, so here we know that auto registration will not work as the DNS will be random and not in the series as we want. So it can have any DNS then. So auto registration is not a reliable method. In auto registration, we uh, all have the concept of UDT. Also, we have in auto registration we configure UDT, uh, ULT, start DN, end DN. So let's say if your start DN is one zero zero one and end DN is two zero zero. one so it will be randomly selected from any and not in the series as we want so the solution here is that gateways will also be required here so as the call is going from one site to another some gateway will be configured gateways can be so this will be the structure that we are going to use in the lab so the gateways will be sip h323 this is what we have in the course but uh, just for you to know there can be other media protocols also like mgcp sccp we will be talking about sip and h323 more commonly here then uh, we will talk about sip in sip there are sip messages sip trunk configuration then we will talk about some uh, 
some other services type. 